people of Reddit, what was the most not safe for work event you ever stumbled upon in high school? Not me, but a friend of mine who was a yearbook photographer. She was a rail thin, awkward, geeky high schooler and was asked to photograph a day in the life of the swim team. Our school had the football fever, and so other sports were always trying to get more than a few mentions in the yearbook packed with dozens of football shots. So my friend showed up to the swim team practice and later state tournament. She was asked to join them later at their victory party, which was at someone's house with its own pool and hot tub. When she got there, most of the team was already drunk and not an adult in sight. There were also a lot of girlfriends of the team there, and more than once, my friend was asked to join them naked in the hot tub. Fun was pretty freely flowing, and she strived constantly to get acceptable photos instead of the wanton depravity around her. At one point, some naked girl was chugging while she was in the cowboy position, screwing on top of her boyfriend while everyone cheered her on. They kept begging my friend to take photos, and she refused in horrified shock. Some of the guys got really handy with her until finally she picked a time when they were distracted, and she left. She later was crying to her best friend because she felt so stressed out, and it was nothing like she expected. Sort of like showing a 10-year-old Caligula when they were expecting Toy Story 2. Only one photo made it to yearbook from that party. A hot tub photo where she had to crop out the beer keg and everyone's body was below the waterline so you couldn't tell they were naked. My high school had to ban blankets after two freshmen were caught having fun under one in the middle of the art hallway. I walked into a bathroom after a fight. Broken mirror, blood smeared on the wall and floor, water everywhere, probably unrelated to the fight, and a lot of bloody tissues in the sink. Oh, and there was a turd in the urinal. I hope that was unrelated to the fight. Someone got the crap kicked out of them. A freshman got pleasured by his girlfriend under the table in the cafeteria during lunch. Someone sitting near them noticed what was happening, took a video, and posted it online. The administration quickly found out, the video was taken down, and all three involved were suspended. I ran cross-country in high school. Sometimes during practice, we would run through trails in the woods surrounding the high school. One day right after school ended, we started running down the trails and stumbled upon two students having fun. Judging by their reactions, I don't think they were expecting a group of 15 guys to run by as they were getting it on. High school bus hit a deer. Police were called. Deer was shot three times in front of the bus to put it down. Watched it from the parking lot while skipping school. We had a girl who would sit in the back of the bus and seemed to always have a different dude sit next to her. Turns out she was giving guys pleasure for a small price. Had a guy run through the school completely naked. High school, by the way. Even ran up and slapped some teacher's butt. Haven't heard of him since, but it was like five plus years ago. Legend has it that a guy in my sophomore or junior year used to sit next to his girlfriend and get pleasure during English class. A sophomore at my school gave a freshman a donut filled with white sauce. He got criminal charges. I have no idea what the criminal charges were. I do know that he got fired from his job and expelled. Walked into a bathroom after school and found a guy and a girl about to go to town. She had her shirt off and skirt up. He had his pants on. I mean, I caught them just before the moment of insertion. I said nothing. I would have left them to it, except all of the bathrooms on campus except this one were always locked shortly before last bell. So I silently walked to a urinal, calmly did my business, properly washed my hands. By the time I went to leave, the girl was hiding in a stall and the guy was waiting by the door. I shrugged at the guy. Guy shrugged back. I left and heard the door lock behind me. Not one of us said anything or made a sound during the entire exchange. Edit. For everyone calling it a power move, I appreciate it, but I just didn't want to have to pee in the bushes. We always threw house parties at my friend's house. One day I went to grab my jacket from one of the rooms and I heard some moaning and groaning, so I thought it was just a couple hooking up. I flipped the lights on because I couldn't find my jacket and saw that three of the track girls were butt naked, finger banging and eating each other out. Instead of just standing there and watching or trying to participate, my nerdy high school self said, hi, waved, and said, have fun, as I walked out giving them privacy. Later on that year, I ended up dating one of the girls and would always try to mention it and maybe try to get a threesome going. Never happened though. She said it was just a drunk moment. We had two people banging under the band bus in the mud at a contest. No one thought it would be a bad idea for the cross-country team to have thin white uniforms until we had a race in a thunderstorm. So many flashbacks of eggplants swaying with each stride. This next one's pretty violent, so fair warning. There was a kid. We'll call him CB. He was notoriously a bad kid. Always in fights, getting kicked out of school, etc. Anyways, his locker wasn't next to mine, but it was really close. He and I never had problems because I purposefully avoided him. One day, another kid, we will call AC, and CB got into an argument. It led to a pushing and shoving match and some crap talking, but got separated really quickly. The next day, AC was walking past our lockers, and CB pulled a literal crowbar out of his locker, ran up behind AC, and hit him in the back of the head so hard that blood hit me in the face. Part of AC's scalp literally half-folded over the back of his head as he was on the floor. CB started hitting him in the back and the back of the head with it. Other students jumped on him and held him down. An ambulance took AC to the hospital. His skull was fractured and he had broken ribs. I had to get checked out because of the blood exposure. No idea where CB went, but I never saw him again.
Not really not safe for work, just my most vivid high school memory. It was the biggest poop I'd ever seen. Just one huge log, to my memory the size of the toilet bowl. It definitely didn't fit down the hole and had to be removed by a janitor. Everyone told their friends about it, and one by one, we all went and checked it out. Also, no toilet paper in the bowl. All that was there was the one big, fat, legendary turd. It physically hurts me to think about how that came out of a butthole. I would just like to add that I am touched and humbled by all of your poo-related stories. In this time of division and opposition, let us remember, we are united by poo. Holy crap, I had the same thing in middle school. Someone made such a girthy, long, robust turd that it had braced itself end-to-end -end across the entire rim of the toilet above the water. It was incredible. It reeked. It was like God himself had wedged it in there. We missed the first ten minutes of class as every boy shuffled giddily through the boys' restroom to the big stall where that glorious poop lay in state. To remember it now was easily three to four inches in diameter and almost a foot long, just freaking remarkable. The water was even flushed away several times to demonstrate there was no trickery. A teacher rushed in and used a plunger to try and tap it in. It held once, twice, a third time. We were buckled with laughter. It finally broke, and both pieces landed in such a way that still prevented them from going down. Absolute highlight in middle school. I went to a small party at my friend's house. My girlfriend and I got there late. We went in and noticed nobody was in the living room. Weird. They said they'd be here. Start walking to the back and I could hear several voices in the bedroom. I just opened the door and there were seven of my friends just having a casual group fun. Not me specifically, but two kids in my Catholic high school banged in the bathroom and someone caught them and videotaped it. They posted it online. Our school made the news and now they measure girls' skirts that they look too high, as well as banning phones. Because yeah, girls' skirts were the problem here. In middle school, the health teach went to show a video on the projector and I guess he had porn on his video player. He offered everyone A's to keep quiet. He was fired, then went to work for a Catholic school. This was junior high, but one kid who we suspected was gay gave another kid who we did not suspect was gay head in the bathroom stall. And for what? A hollow foil Clefairy Pokemon card. Man has his priorities straight. I went to a boarding school my freshman year of high school, and a few weeks in, I volunteered to help walk our librarian's dog for her while her leg was healing after an injury. So I was walking this huge dog through the woods around campus when he suddenly sniffed the air and just ripped the leash out of my hands and took off into the underbrush. I started chasing after him when I heard screaming and yelling. I thought, oh god, this dog mauled someone and I'm going to get expelled! Broke through a clearing and there were five half-naked upperclassmen trying to put their clothes on and scatter while this dog is joyously barking and jumping up on and licking them. Too long didn't read, accidentally interrupted group fun in the woods with my librarian's dog. I guess since so many people were asking, yes it was a co-ed school, and yes both sexes represented. Thumbs up for diversity. Went to teacher's room to get some papers that my Portuguese teacher had forgotten and stumbled at my gym and biology teachers kissing each other really hard over the meeting table. I mean, they didn't even notice me. And oh, it was a Catholic school, and they were both married by the way. My face when I returned to class without the papers must have been priceless. A girl, freshman, went viral on Snapchat because the guy she was giving head to recorded her and said it was terrible during the recording. I'm a teacher who teaches in a high school. First day on the job, we had two kids beaten cheeks in the back of one of my shop cars. Should specify I'm an automotive teacher. Pretty not safe for work, if you ask me. Okay, two stories, one not safe for work, but still messed up. Janitor in elementary school died while mopping the floor, and somehow, this didn't get around the entire school, and my entire class saw them taking his covered up body out the front door. Another was walking in on several people giving head in the band room. It became a daily thing, and I should have known to also knock on the practice room doors before entering. We had many PCs in our school, and every computer room had a projector. So once when the teacher was ill and no replacement came, we were in that room. Someone started the projector and quickly found out that every porn site he tried is blacklisted. But playing from USB apparently works fine. We later found out not only are the connections whitelisted, but also fully monitored. Not long after the movie show with sound and everything started, the IT tech guy comes with a substitute teacher. That internet search history was apparently enough for them to suddenly have a substitute teacher for us. Was walking around outside my high school and saw a dude leaning up against a wall getting head. They didn't see me, so I quietly turned around and walked away. Girl gave head to a guy and his friends filmed it. It was the talk of the school and she changed schools. Two years later, she came back and gave head to a different guy by the same dumpster. No one filmed it this time. Some kid at a party got blackout wasted and crapped himself. In the middle of the crowd, he took his pants down and slipped in it, proceeded to army crawl to try and make it out, but just smeared it everywhere. He is still known as the party pooper. Godspeed, party pooper. 
In band before a football game, I walk into the percussion room to hang with the homies. Everyone is huddled around this dude in the corner of the room laughing, so of course I walk over to check it out. Turns out the dude was showing everyone how tiny his eggplant is and everyone was so fascinated. Yeah, it was really, really small. Like, from the tip of your pinky to the first knuckle down. I've never seen anything like it. Freshman year of high school, football team is out practicing. A senior varsity player came to the freshman locker room, cut all the locks off of our lockers, and stole our clothes. Nice enough to take wallets and phones, etc. out of pockets and leave them in the lockers, though. Idiot didn't realize the hallway cameras had him the whole time. Most of us chose not to shower until we got home and, as a team, proceeded to leave in groups in undershirts and boxers or no shirts and boxers after getting a call our rides were there. Small town, small school, so ultimately he was just benched for a few games, suspended for a day or two, and his parents had to buy a bunch of padlocks. In middle school, some kids walked in and started having fun in the stall next to me while I was pooping. Eventually, they smelt my presence. Oh man, I've got a good one for this. So I'm in high school theater class and I've been helping the teacher out with a lot of tasks like setting up the green room and stuff. Just little helpful stuff. Well, apparently one of us left the door unlocked and unattended for a little too long. In our green room were two big blue couches that were the most uncomfortable things I had ever sat on. Teacher comes running into the room from the hall and says, Hey, I think someone is in the green room. Go with me so I can have a witness. Thinking nothing of it, I go. We stand by the door and someone is most definitely in there making some pretty unusual sounds. I realize what the sound is a half second before the teacher throws the door open to two kids from my class getting down on that couch. I only had like two seconds of view time before the teacher screams, Good golly, Miss Molly! and slams the door. I sat outside that door crying from laughing for about 20 minutes before they knocked on the door to be let out, realizing we had the stage completely locked down. The look on their faces when the principal let them out and led them to his office will forever be in my mind. Can you imagine? Knee deep, about to blow, and from over your shoulder, Good golly, Miss Molly! I dream of it sometimes and still wake up laughing. Not me, but a few freshmen encountered sophomores having fun on a hill my school had for cross country and I think football. And then someone marked that hill on Google Maps. What happens in the locker room should stay in the locker room. With that said, I once walked in on a kid shoving a crucifix up his butt on a dare from his friends. Catholic school, eh? The janitor didn't cordon off the area when someone spilled a large half gallon of milk. One student ran into the cafeteria, slipped, and busted his butt. The janitor was suspended for one day. A bunch of guys from the athletics class got mad at a kid for mine for cheating during dodgeball, so they walked into the locker room butt naked and whipped him with towels. I just walk in and see someone's dong flipping around like a corrupted body part in a PS1 game before he leaps off the bench and goes ape on the guy. I nope the heck out and waited in the hallway with everyone else. Before anyone asks why didn't I or anyone else help, the coaches were nowhere to be found and we were scrawny freshmen against football and wrestling players in good shape. The guy eventually comes out drenched in sweat, calls us jerks, then kicked on one of our backpacks. Two people were caught having fun behind the curtain on the gym stage by the master of custodial arts, or janitor if you want to be a jerk about it. He said hi to both and walked out. Dave was cool. A junior boy filmed two sophomore girls having fun, and, of course, he made copies and passed them around. One copy landed into the dean's hands, and she called both girls and their parents in and freaking watched it. Yeah, because that's not going to traumatize anybody. A guy hanging from the theater rafters by one arm. Like, by choice? What's the not safe for work part? Naked and covered with mashed potatoes? In 11th grade English, the desks were in a U shape, so some students were facing each other from across the room. This is important later on. So I had a few girls in my class I thought were attractive, and there was this one girl who was a cheerleader. She sat directly across from me so I could see her face rather than the back of her head. So anyways, because I was able to see her face, I was also able to see the rest of the front of her body. So one day, while my teacher is reading us a book, this girl was wearing a fairly short skirt. I happened to just glance and saw up it. Being a 16 to 17 year old, I'd glanced here and there. Eventually, she noticed, and when you would think that when you notice someone looking, you'd close your legs. The opposite happened. I'd been wearing athletic shorts as it was a hot April day, so this girl is spreading her legs whilst wearing a short skirt and a thong. She kept looking at me and kept spreading until she couldn't spread much further. I obviously had a tent, and I'm almost certain she must have seen, because she was biting her lip, and I swear to God, I could have sworn she moved her thong over just enough to show herself slightly. Now keep in mind, there was maybe ten people in that class, including me, and the side I was on had five or so of us, and was majority girls with the exception of me and a gay guy, so she was definitely showing me. Being awkward as heck though, I never bothered to talk to her much or anything, so I never got any chance to ask her out or anything, but that was probably the hottest thing I'd seen in high school. Walked over to the local church where my buddy and resident school 10 out of 10 were last seen. I start using a small flashlight because it was dark as heck and heard rustling under some pine trees. I heard whispering, and being sober just flat out yelled, If you two are screwy, just let me know so I can turn around. 
I, yeah, we are, but... My buddy Sean walks out, shirt covering himself. Can you find me a condom, dude? I walked back to the house, found a condom in my buddy's room, took it back, and laid it down where I got to see the 10 out of 10 naked. Thanks, bro. 11th grade, everyone. My high school had a lock-in every year where you basically stayed at the high school and weren't allowed to leave from like 6 p.m. to midnight. They were usually pretty boring and stupid as heck because students had to bring their own consoles and can only bring E-rated games and PG-rated movies. Anyways, there was an upstairs to my school, but it was only two rooms. One of them was locked and the other movies were playing in. I was watching movies upstairs, and when I went to use the bathroom up there, I opened the door to a full-on group fun session. I mean like eight kids, and it wasn't even that big of a bathroom. I don't understand why they wouldn't lock the door. I really wish they did so I didn't see that. I then went downstairs to the locker room where a bunch of kids, this was the boys locker room, but there were like 10 guys and 10 girls playing truth or dare. I was a really shy and unpopular kid, so stuff like that was weird for me. One of the girls saw me come in and dared another girl to go down on me in front of them. I got really embarrassed and ran out of there as fast as I could. By that time, it was only like 10, so I talked to the person running it and told them that I threw up and they let me leave. I never went to another one of those stupid things after that. In English class, 10th grade, I was sitting next to this dude. For storytelling purposes, named Chad. Chad was always a little weird and never really paid attention in class. He preferred to go on gag websites like Google Gravity and whatnot for the entirety of class, occasionally talking to me and showing off what weird stuff he found. That was all good. Then one day, I looked over just out of curiosity for what weird stuff he might have found that day. First thing I saw was that his screen was going through the standard Windows Update reboot screen. Then I saw his desk bouncing up and down somewhat. I just figured he was bouncing his legs with some ADHD type energy while he was waiting for his computer to finish updating, so I go back to my work. A few minutes later, he apparently started making sounds. I was unaware of this as I was watching YouTube. These sounds were heard by the group of talkative girls sitting a couple of seats over. They loudly complained a lot to the teacher. So the teacher walked over and tried talking to Chad. When Chad saw the teacher walking over, he went into panic mode and tried to stealthily hide what he was doing. Naturally, he failed spectacularly and sent his desk forward and actually helped it fall on accident when he tried to save it. So Chad was sitting in his seat, one hand trying to pull his desk back up while the other was desperately grasping the zipper region of his pants. I only learned what happened after the fact, as I have a spectacular ability to ignore what's going on around me when I watch YouTube. However, I found out that he got suspended for a week. Chad went down as a legend around my school, as the man who rubbed one out during English. He was highly respected among all the boys in the school for the next two years, and his reputation spread to the surrounding schools so that when I went to sporting events, the opposing teams would ask me about him. In Homec, a kid pulled his eggplant out and set it on his desk and got the teacher to look at it. Nothing happened, and she laughed it off. A few weeks later, another kid in the same class crushed up a Tic Tac and the teacher watched him do a line of it. She called the police, had drug dogs come in, and had the kid suspended for a week or two. Same teacher made us read aloud what we were reading in study hall once. Bad idea. It was a bunch of tips on how to give head from Seventeen Magazine, or a similar magazine. Each one of us had to take a turn reading one, each person yelling the tip to all who could hear. Freshman year, our chemistry teacher taught us how to make gunpowder. We were supposed to light it all in the flame hood, made a huge batch, put it in a two-liter bottle, and blew it up outside. Ironically, cops weren't called for that one. Drew a bunch of eggplants on rival team school buses during a basketball tournament. It was orchestrated so no one could tell who did it. Police got called in. It's a small town with three officers. Two stayed inside with the kids, one had to scrub the eggplants off the buses. Result, a bunch of kids had to wait in the gym for a few hours, and we got interrogated. No one confessed, so nothing happened there. Not really not safe for work, but those and a few unmentionable events got us out of senior year a week early. The administration waited until a Friday and told us we were done with high school and to not come back until graduation. That was kind of cool, but we didn't get to have prank week. This was before cell phones had passwords. Found a phone. Looked at the picture to see who it was. Saw a video of a girl spreading peanut butter on her genitals and having her dog lick it up. This didn't happen to me specifically, but it happened in the class that I happened to be in. I was in my theater class and we were practicing a play that we were going to do during one of the periods of school. Fifteen of us were on the stage with the theater teacher working on our part. The fifteen of us were robots that worked together as a machine, and the other four went with the student teacher because they were the humans of the play. They went to one of the lecture halls and the student teacher flipped on the lights and they caught two people making out in the area, and the girl was giving the guy pleasure. Needless to say, the two got out of there real quick with the guy zipping himself up. Went to a private all-boys school. My senior year, I walked into the band practice hall on a Saturday afternoon to find two guys going at it. One was elbow deep in the other's butt. And that's how I found out what fisting is. I didn't report them, but I did call the other one Kermit for the rest of the year. We once had to work with iPads. And when I turned mine on, the background image was a furry. And when I went to the internet browser, it was on Hentai Haven. Of course, I quickly backed out of the site before anyone could see it. I must say, the Chad who looked up porn on a school iPad had some cojones on him.
I think one of the most I've ever laughed in school was when someone managed to connect to the projector in the assembly hall and play Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life, followed by Ram Ranch. I had my goon sneak into school to take down all the bells as a prank. He didn't know the difference between fire bells and class bells and took down both. That made the work environment not safe and is why the police were called. I don't know which one is the most not safe for work experience, but each one has their own merit. What kind of school is y'all go to?